Does your hair grow very slowly? Are you experiencing balding or alopecia? Then this is definitely going to be a solution for you. This is my hair and I'm a consistent oil user. You don't need to break the bank to have these results and I'm going to show you today how to make an affordable, very potent miracle oil infusion so that you can grow longer hair and heal a lot of your scalp ailments. Hey Z stars, what's good in the proverbial hood? It's your girl, Zara, popularly known as Epic Zara. And of course, I'm back with another video. If you've never been here before, I don't know why you haven't. If you have been here before, thank you so much for joining me once again. We're going to be making a special hair restoration, renewal, and regrowth oil here on the channel. This oil is super potent, super healing. It kills fungus, eliminates dandruff, and helps to significantly regrow hair. Now, with all of that being said, I don't want to be long-winded, so let's get right into the video. But of course, before we do, please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what ingredients you think are going to be in this oil. Be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones. And last but can never, ever be least, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. All of that aside, let's cue this beautiful intro. <laughs> So did you all enjoy the intro? Of course, be sure to follow me on Instagram, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. -A. Now, of course, before we get into this recipe, we're going to learn about the ingredients that go into this very rich oil. So let's cut to the next segment where we educate ourselves on these rich, rich plants. Hey everyone, so if you've been here before, you already know that before we get into putting together this wonderful recipe, we need to do a deep dive into the ingredients present in the formula. So with that being said, the ingredients inside this budget oil are avocado oil, almond oil, black castor oil, and wheat germ oil. For the herbs, we have hibiscus, oregano, lavender, moringa, horsetail, and rosemary. And last but never can be least, our star ingredient, sulfur, popularly known as yellow sulfur powder and less commonly referred to as brimstone powder. Avocado oil. Avocado oil is a powerhouse of oleic acid and monounsaturated fats. Because the oil is very light, it actually penetrates deep into the skin and the hair shaft to aid the hair in much needed moisture retention and strength. It stimulates blood flow to the scalp. The fats also play an important role in preventing breakage of the hair. Avocado oil contains lots of antioxidants vitamins, minerals, and proteins. All the properties in this fat-rich fruit aid in reducing dandruff and dry scalp, along with preventing hair breakage. <laughs> rosemary. Rosemary is an evergreen, perennial herb that features needle-like leaves and small flowers that are blue, pink, purple, or white in color. It is native to the Mediterranean region. A member of the mint family, it is very potent and very fragrant. Like its counterparts, it is able to combat hair loss and stimulate growth. It also has the added benefit of improving cell generation. It therefore also has the potential to enhance hair density. Due to its potency, it is typically approached with more caution. If you are pregnant or nursing, please consult your physician prior to use. If you have any allergies, take any medications or have any pre-existing conditions, please also consult your physician prior to use. Moringa. Moringa is a superfood rich in many vitamins and 5% minerals that help hair growth and stop hair fall. It is also rich in keratin, the protein vital to the integrity of the hair. Now, Moringa does a lot of things, which I'm going to pretty much just list a few of them on the screen. Since we can't go into too much detail in this video, feel free to drop some green emojis down below if you want a dedicated video for Moringa. Horsetail. 
The name horsetail came about because the plant looks like the mane and tail of a horse. It has been used for centuries as an herbal remedy. Studies have shown that the plant contains great hair benefits. It is rich in silica, has antioxidant properties, and it positively impacts collagen. The silica hastens hair growth. It reduces dandruff. It strengthens thin hair. It works as an anti-breakage agent for the hair. It boosts blood circulation in the scalp, which enables hair follicles to grow stronger. It is a potent remedy for hair loss. It soothes and treats scalp infections and irritation. Now, if you already watch my videos, you know that we've touched on a lot of these ingredients in other videos. So as opposed to being long-winded and spending time on those ingredients in this video, I'm going to refer you to where you can find the information. For the almond oil, the black castor oil, and the lavender herb, you can find information regarding those ingredients in my previous hair oil video. This hair oil is my bougier alternative and it's my favorite growth oil. I'm going to link this video in the top right corner so you all have access to it. Please open it up in another window and be sure to watch it after you watch this video. You won't regret it. And it's a great alternative if your budget is a little more cushioned. It's also the growth oil present in my super sulfur mix. Now, speaking of that grease video, you can find all the information you need to find about sulfur in that particular video that's linked in the top right corner for your viewing pleasure. And you can actually use this hair grease in conjunction with this oil. It's great to use over top of the oil after we do all the steps, which you will see later on in this video, of course, to get a glimpse of that, stay tuned. And of course, for the oregano, you all can check out my original oregano tizan video. Now that video is very important and we'll get into that for other reasons. And for hibiscus, you can actually check out the video that precedes this one. It's all about hibiscus, in particular, hibiscus sabdurifa. Now we do use roselle in this video and I'm going to touch base on that briefly. But if you all want a dedicated video for roselle, please drop some purple emojis down below. Okay, now that you all have been educated on these rich plant constituents, let's get right into making this really potent recipe. Please be sure to pay ample attention because I'm going to put all the ingredients you need, of course, again, on the screen, as well as the quantities within the recipe making process. Now, as far as where you can get these rich ingredients, I'm going to have links in the description box down below. And now it's time to make our budget oil. Now I'm going to make 800 milliliters of this oil because I have a family and I'm going to be sharing with all of them. We all have beautiful natural hair. Now as you can see, I'm just adding the oil and the quantities on the screen to the container. Now for the black castor oil, to note, I prefer Haitian black castor oil. I just have Jamaican on hand, so that's what I'm using. Now I'm bringing out my trusty Westy kitchen scale and using it to measure all the herbs according to the quantities you see on the screen. Prior to adding the next herb, I like to tear the scale. This makes it easy for me to add the next herbs without doing any math because the scale will return to zero and to increase according to what's placed in it. Now I'm bringing out my beautiful hot plate, my trusty Westy hot plate, setting it to the lowest setting, adding the herbs and adding the oil. If you don't have a crock pot with a temperature setting, this is an easy way to make this oil. Ideally, you should have a food thermometer so you can check and ensure the temperature does not go beyond 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put the Celsius equivalent on the screen. While we allow this to infuse for the next six to eight hours, let me share some interesting information with you. 
So now as healing and beautiful as this oil is, you can get even more potent oil infusions and other types of recipes in my recipe Bible for 20% off. My recipe Bible is rich with all of the brilliant formulas that my hair has used to thrive over the past two years. As you can see, my hair is getting really, really healthy in a really dramatic way. And I can't wait to see what another year of using these homemade formulas does for my hair. Now we have brilliant testimonials, which of course I'm going to put up on the screen for your viewing pleasure. Please, 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 please don't take their testimonies for granted because you can be one of them. So it's going to be linked in the cards to the top right and of course in the description box down below. Alternately, be sure to check out my hair growth bundle that includes my recipe Bible, my Holy Grail, which is a book of all my favorite products, my five calendars, one of course, which you will pick from for your hair type, and my hair care planner. Now all of these items combined culminate in a really beautiful and rich regimen that will have your hair screaming hallelujah, just like the choir in Handel's Messiah. <laughs> But um, classical music jokes aside, be sure to check that out. It's 35% off and a much better value than just getting the recipe Bible on its own. So of course, it's linked in the top right corner for your viewing pleasure. Now let's continue with this video. Now that we've waited the aforementioned time, we're going to strain the oil. Now, if your herbs are as large as mine, you can just use a normal fine strainer. You don't need to use a cheesecloth. It's not that deep. And I'm pressing out the herbs as much as possible because they absorbed a lot of oil. So this is just one of my four applicator bottles because as previously mentioned, I made enough for my family. To reiterate, you don't need to make this quantity. You can divide it. But as you can see, I'm just putting the oil in the applicator bottle and adding the sulfur at a rate of 2%. In the case of 200 milliliters a pop, that's going to be four grams. And here's our finished product. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but if you do experience any confusion, please repeat this particular step. There are timestamps below. So fantastic, have you made your oil? I hope that you have, because we're going to learn how to apply it. So let's see what application Zara is doing in the next clip. Hey bestie, it's application time. So the first item on your hair menu is going to be the hibiscus tisane. Now I have a video for this where you can see how to make it and the full application. And then we have our oregano tisane. Of course, I have a video for this as well. Then we have the star of the show, the growth oil, which of course we made in this video. And last but never least, your electric scalp massager, which is linked down below for your purchasing pleasure. Now first things first, shake up your hair oil and <laughs> shake up your tisane. And let's get to applying. So I just generously apply the tison all over my scalp. Of course, this is going to moisten my scalp prior to applying our hair growth oil. Now I'm sectioning off my hair for easier application of the oil. And of course, I'm shaking it again before applying in small dots all over my head. I'm applying it fairly generously but not excessively so i'm focusing on areas that need more attention like the crown of my head but i'm making sure that i'm not wasting any product as you can see as i'm applying i'm making sure to massage my hair very well and distribute it all over my scalp with my fingers I'm also applying some to my hands and applying it to the length of my hair. Now this was following the application of the hibiscus tisane, which of course is in the previous video, the video that precedes this one. Mm -hmm. 
After a 10 to 20 minute massage, I'm good to go and I'm putting my hair up, off my shoulders and out of my face. And that's the whole process. Wow, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. I mean, I really enjoyed making it. And please drop some red emojis down below if you want to see more of these recipe videos. It seems like you all are really, really liking them. Of course, also be sure to drop some blue emojis down below if you've made it this far. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep on watching, you guys. Turn on your notifications. Thumbs up this video. Share with your friends and your loved ones. And comment always, always, always. Thank you so much for your support. You are actually extremely special to me and I do not take you for granted. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video.